In this video, we're going to walk through configuring SSH and removing Telnet from a Cisco router. Just before we get into the configuration, I'm just going to cover a bit of the background on SSH for a router. So basically, there are four main requirements for the router that it must meet before configuring SSH. It must have a unique host name. It must have a domain name of the network. And it must be using either local authentication or AAA services. And it obviously goes without saying that the IOS on the Cisco router must obviously support SSH. Okay, then let's get into our, to our configuration. So we're going to fire up PuTTY. And we're going to connect to our router over Telnet initially. Okay, we're going to log in. Okay, and we're going to want to go into global configuration mode. Okay, as we can see from the PuTTY terminal there, our router already has a unique host name, Core A. So we're going to skip that and move on to a domain name. So for this, we're going to want to use IP, domain name, and we're going to use btslabs.com. So let's configure that. Okay, now we're going to want to create our, we're going to want to generate our RSA crypto keys. For this, we're going to use crypto key generate RSA general keys. Okay, and it's asking us what the modulus is here. So essentially, we're going to use 2048. You can actually see there, it wants to range from 360 up to 4096. Just going to be a moment there generating those keys. Okay, next we're going to tell our router that we want to use SSH version 2. Okay, now we're going to want to move on to configuring the VTY line. Okay, we're going to put in login local to specify that we're going to use the local database. And we're going to configure the transport input type now with transport input so we're going to put telnet and ssh initially exit out of that at this point now we're, we're finished with the configuration we're going to close putty and reopen it using ssh So we'll fire putty back up. And this time we're going to leave it on SSH. Excellent. We've been prompted for the server keys. Yes, we do want to trust them. Okay, we're going to log in. Now, as we've successfully logged in, we can now remove that telnet from the transport input line that we put in previously on the VTY line. It was important just to try and verify that we can actually log in via SSH before removing that telnet. So we're going to move into global configuration mode. going to simply put in transport input 
I'm just going to leave it as, as SSH. So one last verification. I'm going to fire up Putty again. We're going to try and connect to our router over Telnet. With a bit of luck. Excellent. The connection's refused. Close Putty. And one last time. SSH. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.